Okay, so I was a little bored today, and I'm crazy because it's about 100 degrees out right now, maybe even 105 here in Arizona. But hopefully you can see this haze and fading. But I was sick of it. So I've tried a variety of different cleaning methods and they work for a while and then they just tend to go back hazy. So because this dodge is not the hardest thing to do, I actually removed the headlight. And I'll take you over here to where I'm going to work on it because it's in the shade and I've got my hose and hopefully the lighting will be good. But what I wanted to show you, let's see, it's a little harder uh, outside in the shade to see the deterioration of this headlight, but it's rough and we're going to sand it all down. So what I've got is a variety of different sandpapers. We're going to work our way up to about 2,000. I'm going to try and start with 400. Hopefully not go any lower than that because I don't want to make it really, really, really rough. But then we're going to put a clear coat on it. And this is the clear coat. The reason this one works well is because if you look down right here, non-yellowing, you don't want it to yellow and you want also the UV resistance and it's good for the plastic headlights. So it's a clear. And we'll put a couple coats on there. So I'm going to speed the process up a little bit because I don't think you want to watch the whole thing, but make sure when you're sanding it, you do want to keep it wet. Um, and then one thing that I've seen, which probably makes a lot of sense as you're doing circular motions or whatever, when you finish, you want to do these horizontal movements uh, or sand horizontally because then that way when you're spraying the clear, it gives it a little more something to grab. Hopefully you don't get as many runs and keeps it nice and uh, professional. So hopefully this will work. We'll see how it turns out in just a little bit. But uh, I didn't want to go and spend $100 or so for new headlights. And if I have to, I have to. But boy, I'd much rather just clean them up this way. This edge is really what I'm mostly concerned about. And then just want to make it a little clearer on the whole entire thing. So, let's set you up here. And... Should not be too bad. Water on. Get a nice drizzle. Keep your paper wet as well. Okay. You can do this while it's on the car. But if it's an easy light to remove, you might as well remove it. Because then when you're doing the clear, you don't have to tape off nearly as much or any. Looks horrible, but it's supposed to. 
So right here on the edge, I still have a little work. Still needs to get a little bit of this out. So, keep working on it. See how it just gets completely hazy? That's what you want. to tell but looks a lot better so now that's 400 let's move up to say a thousand I can find my had to go cut a smaller piece Same process. Oh yeah, much better. Take your time. It's turning out better. Getting rid of a lot of that main oxidation. So now we're going to work up to a 2000. Just really clean it up. That's really starting to smooth out. masking tape, uh, blue painter's tape, just so I can kind of tape off the edge. I don't want to get too much, although it doesn't really matter, it's not really seen, on the plastic, black housing, uh, but I'm still going to, uh, to tape that off just so it What I'm going to do is go get my air hose and just hose all the water off. I don't want any water getting underneath any of the clear. That would be a bad thing. So we'll go, I'll go do that real quick. You don't need to watch that. I'm just gonna 
hose it all off, get all the water off of it. Then we're going to uh, clean it up with some alcohol, uh, rub that down real quick before we do the clear. Okay, so it's been five minutes, here comes coat number two. Wait another five minutes. Okay, sun's starting to come out on the sides, so we're gonna try to put one more coat on. This will go on a little thicker than the others. Take you in there, you can kind of see what it looks like. That looks way better. And yeah, it took some time, but I think it's worth it. So, next thing we'll do, we'll let that dry, and uh, then we'll see if it needs to have any wet sanding and then a compound, a wax compound on top. Okay, so here is the finished headlight. Obviously versus the driver's side, which is not done yet. And hopefully you can see that dramatic change. Now obviously this one has a lot more clarity and so you guys, you can do this. It is not difficult. Take your time, especially if you can remove the headlight. It makes it really easy because you can just take your time sanding, use a lot of water, and just work your way up from, you know, low grit, like a 400, and then just kind of work your way all the way up to 2000, and then do a couple nice coats of that clear. And then this will last a long time. We'll save you a lot of money from having to replace your headlights as well. Hopefully this is helpful. Good luck and you can do it. Okay, so here is the truck. Obviously it's really dirty, but I wanted to show you how much better those headlights look. So, I don't know how long this sanding and clear coat method will work but I imagine it will last longer than just the other chemical or kind of wax compounds that just kind of take off that surface because those don't last as long so we'll do a follow-up once we you know see how they how they weather you know maybe six months a year that kind of thing <laughs> 